I've honestly never putted better in my whole life. I made one teeny adjustment. I'm gonna show you how. Sometimes all it takes is just a little recalibration to get you back on track. And that is exactly what happened with me. I've never felt more comfortable and confident putting. I've never been more excited to putt. Usually it's a, somewhat of a fear for, for many of us, but now because of just a tiny little adjustment I made, I feel like I can make pretty much anything. Oh, oh that was tracking a little wet, so the greens are a touch slower, but I started right online as you can see. It was tracking toward the hole, just need a little more speed. But that line, I put that line on the ball, it was rolling tight and that's what we want. And I'm gonna show you how to get it. So here's what I owe all the credit to is this thing. This is not a promotion for this product, Bloodline Putter. I did a review on it. I'll link it over here if you wanna check it out. Do I even use this putter as my gamer? No, I wanted to, but it just wouldn't work for me. Not that it doesn't work, but here was my problem and this is what I was trying to figure out. I, here's my pre-shot routine. I get up, I do three practice strokes, then I line up and I putt the ball. But because of the, the specificity, whatever, how specific you aim with that, I wasn't able to get it perfectly once I did my practice strokes. So in other words, my whole pre-shot routine was messed up using this. So I was trying to figure out a way to make it work. And I tried a whole bunch of different things. So I took the line on the ball and I lined it up where I wanted to aim. Then this was my practice pre-shot routine. I was trying to figure it out. I'd get that and I'd, I'd line the line up perfectly straight with the line on the putter and the line on the ball because that's what you're supposed to do, right? Line on line, make it perfect. But then I came behind here and I looked and I noticed something. <laughs> and this might be your problem or it might be the reverse of your problem, but it was definitely my problem. Take a look from down the line and you'll see that the line on the ball is where I wanna start the putt. The line on the putter, the putter, however, is aimed left of that, even though from here, that looks perfect to me. That looks, to me, that looks perfect. So uh, maybe my eyes are lopsided or crooked, I don't know. But from down here, it is not where I wanna aim. All right, so what I did was this is what I did. I aimed from behind the putter where I wanted to aim it, and it's matching the line now from behind. Everything looks perfect. Then I came up here and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks totally off here. The club face looks much more open from the top down view. So I was like, okay, that's weird. That's what it has to look like. And this is where my pre-shot routine was always uncomfortable, but I'd get up here ultimately and hit the putt. All right, that was perfectly online. That felt, all felt good. But then I got to thinking, okay, the putter, for me, it's just not my favorite feeling putter. A lot of it has to do with the shape of the head and the lightness of the handle. So that got me thinking, why don't I do this? Why don't I line the ball up? Like I think should be illegal, but everybody does it, so I do it too. And then get my putter that I love and then do my full on pre-shot routine like I like, one, two, three. Okay, looking at my spot and then line up like I like to, line on line, but I know that's wrong because Bloodline told me that was wrong. Why don't I open up the face a little bit to make it equal what that looked like at a dress, slightly open, and then stroke the putt. Whew. Now, I'm not gonna make every one of them. However, speed is good, that line is rolling tight and everything's feeling super solid and pure, striking the center of that club face. And if you're getting any value out of this video, please hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future awesome videos that come out. 
And I don't talk about this a whole lot, but I do have a membership site for deeper diving into instruction. If you're interested in that, link is in the video description below and doing some special things on there coming up soon. So you're gonna wanna get in sooner rather than later, if that's something you're into. You might be asking yourself, Matt, whoa, what's the big deal? All you did was open the club face a little bit, but what does that do? Well, if you open the club face a little bit, it allows that putter to swing a little more from the inside and have some face rotation going through, which will square up the putter at impact versus lining that line perfectly straight on that thing, right? And you take that back, you're gonna come a little outside and hit it slightly on the toe and it causes a little side warble. The ball goes left, obviously, because I'm aiming left also. So just by opening that face up, getting it squared up, allows that putter to swing much more naturally the ball is going to have a much better roll so it'll stay above the bumps and imperfections rather than a little spin on it it'll hit every little nook and cranny and you'll just never make anything even if you're reading it perfectly sometimes small little adjustments make all the difference in the world Give it a try, play around with that and the line and find what works best for you where you get the tightest roll, where you hit in the center of the putter and you know, it will work out. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.